What's good everyone, Enrique with another video and this is gonna be Compact Creations number seven. So let's go ahead, not waste any time and just jump straight into it. Actually, real quick, let me answer a comment that I get often in the comment section down below, which is how can I further support the channel? Honestly, just pressing play, watching the video and giving me a thumbs up is more than enough. Those of you who subscribe, thank you. I really, really appreciate it. But in terms of monetization, a lot of the links that I use down below, they're all affiliate links, which basically leads you to Amazon. When you click it, it just goes through my link, giving me a small little commission off of anything that you may buy or may not buy, I guess, in a sense, but it doesn't cost you anything extra. So whenever you guys use those links down below, it means a lot, it helps me out a lot, it helps the channel, helps support all this. And another way is to check the link down below and get yourself one of these hats. Holiday season, give a gift to yourself, a gift to a synth friend, and uh, yeah, anything helps, guys. Seriously, anything helps. I appreciate every single one of you. Anyway, before it gets all gushy, let's start making some music. All right, on to the main event. Here we are, PO33, as stated. Um, pretty much blank at this point, holding down patterns. You can see I got nothing. Sounds, I just got one, and then two things here. Levin basically being my drums. I usually save these four for my drums, these four for my samples, and then all of these for my samples. And by samples, I mean stuff like this. Simple stuff I took off of uh, YouTube. Don't tell anybody. And then this one. Easy peasy, right? So I'm gonna go ahead and take this and I'm gonna copy that into the melodic section right here onto nine. Right, and if you don't know why I'm doing this, check out this video. It's basically a really, really easy way to chop samples up on this um, in a, a very efficient way. Um, instead of doing the little start and end point, I just kind of took the sample and threw it in here in hopes of finding something random. So let's see, let's get a kick drum. Sounds cool. Do your typical. Actually, you know what? Let's not do our typical. That's cool. Ooh, it has that nasty trim on it. Oh, sorry about that. There we go. Took that little pop off the end, basically just adjusting the trim. I like that sound. So. Let's see. Oh, <laughs> that sounded funny. Cool, so right now I'm already running into the constraint of a single sound on a drum uh, on a drum track. So again, I'm gonna go to this sound, copy it to 12, go to 12. That has a nasty little thing at the end of it too. Let me go ahead and trim that up. Cool. That'll work. Boom, 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 boom. Trip it up. Whoa. Maybe here. Nah, it's good. What swing am I on? Oh, no wonder. Yeah. All right. That's cool. Cool, simple, right? Uh, that's that pattern. I'm gonna copy that, boom, boom, boom. So now we have four. Play from here, there, there, and there. A simple four bar loop, press play. Go to this sound. Let's see if we can change the pitch a little bit. Tone. We can do something very typical, which would be to take just two bars and basically I slice it up over 16 steps, um, which I like to play it in an eighth if I'm doing my math correctly, which means this would be a two bar pattern. So if I press play, I could just play these in, like basically quantize. <laughs> and 
it sounds like the worst thing I've ever heard in my entire life. So I want to go ahead and clear that out. Dun, 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 dun. Cool, that's cleared. Uh, let's try the other approach, which is a little easier to manage, which is just kind of finding a little chop, so. Okay, that was kind of cool. that if I can get this so right there I want this one to hit right so I'll turn record off and just place it there cool easy so now that I have this little two bar pattern I'm gonna go ahead and copy 13 to here and then copy 14 to here and try to add another little like movement, I guess you can say, to it. So let's go back to our sounds. I like that. So now we're going to add that to this one also. Dope. Let's go to our sample, which is this here. Turn the filter down. Actually, let's turn the filter up. Let's try this. All right, I kind of like that. I'm gonna just hold record to let it record that automation over the whole pattern. Cool. So we got that, that's this pattern. Copy that in there. Um, and then I'll copy 16 to 12. So basically I've gone from here, copied it there, there to copied it there, added stuff, now copied from here to there, there to there, and now in the hopes of adding more stuff. So check this, we got the sound, which is the sample we just took. We also have it here with the pitch correction that we made. So I'm gonna sample, or uh, copy that pattern, or the sound, sorry, onto here. Go to this sound and then go to the filter and turn it all the way down. Let's see. Oh, whoops. Rezo up. Maybe hard to hear on the laptop speakers, but I'm using this to kind of get some bass. Oh, this is kind of cool. Oops. Forgot I was on a you know, one bar pattern. Cool. Let's go uh, 11 to 12. Oh, I just keep adding stuff. Take that out. Cool, so now let's actually try and listen to what that sounds like, because again, it's kind of hard when you have all these samples clashing, which I kind of like, but it can get messy real quick. But the benefit of this is that less is more. Like, this sounds pretty tight already. Like, it's kind of a track that I like. Um, and I, I mean, it took me, I don't know, what, how long has it been, five minutes, 10 minutes? Uh, anyway, let's continue. So with that being said, let's uh, copy 11 onto 9, doing this completely backwards in case you haven't <laughs> figured that out yet. So we have our drums in this corner, mainly just 11 and 12 as far as our sounds go. The high pass filter and then the low pass filter of our sample. So I'm going to go to our high pass and take it out of the sequence. So then it's also... There, there. Cool, so then let's go to our kick drum, right? Which should be that one. You see where it's at? Here, there. Cool, go to our patterns. Let's say copy nine to here, copy 
10 to there, play 5, 6, press play, and then just put it in. So see, that's cool, but I lost my snare. So again, I'm gonna have to go to this sound and see what's there, which is this here, which is a little like shaker sound. And I'm gonna just go ahead and omit that. Let's go ahead and add a little clap, get a little dancing in here. Oh, that's kind of cool. See it like it kind of gives it that little like almost jump in uh, like a pause. Let's get some more swing on here. All right, let's play this thing back. Let's see. Uh, let's go 13, 14, 13, 14. Cool. Uh, I'm only doing it in basically four bar loops just for the sake of time. I normally do eight bars. Let's see what it sounds like. Try not to mess this up. All right, I'm going a little off the rails. Cool, so that's it. Really hope you all enjoyed this video. If you did, I'd greatly appreciate a thumbs up. Again, everything I said at the beginning of the video, really, really appreciate it. Everything and anything helps support the channel. You guys are the best. This has been an incredible year. Another thing I want y'all to take advantage of is use the hashtag compact creations on Instagram so I can keep up with y'all and see what you guys are up to. Speaking of Instagram, you can follow me here and hit me up on there if you have any video ideas or comparisons or anything you want to see. Let me know about it and I'll get to it. With all that aside, y'all know the drill and that's to share the love, share the knowledge. Knowledge is power. Peace.